I want to calculate the positions of the inlets that I'm going to need to drain part of this road surface. So first of all, I'm going to check my default design constraints for my spread criteria. I'm also going to have a look in my inlet catalog. So here's the catalog inlet that I'm going to use, and this is how we calculate its capacity and carry overflow. Then I'm going to launch place nodes. Note the new option here. So we're choosing that we want to place the nodes by spread. Zoom in here. I'm going to pick my gutter flow line, my terrain model, set a spacing and an interval. Then I'm going to start here and I'm going to finish at this existing inlet, set the rotation and data point to process. Now the process is finished, you can see that a lot of work went on. We've located the inlets where they need to be in accordance with the spread width criteria. You can see how they bunch up as a longitudinal gradient slackens off. We've delineated the catchment areas to each one as well. So it saves a lot of manual work. If we compute the scenario, we can review the details. This inlet here, for example, is I-24. And we can see the efficiency, the depth and the spread width.